Y'all already know what time it is, huh? Cold start. Good morning, guys. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And yes, holy shit, the sun is just starting to come up. And unsurprisingly, the BMW is going to the shop. <laughs> So yes, the BMW is going to the shop again. Um, this is part of that CarMax warranty series that I've been doing with you guys. Now, up to this date, CarMax has paid well over $10,000 on this warranty already. Like, I'm going to get the exact numbers out for you once this repair is done. But we're going to talk about some of the things that need to be fixed on the BMW. Um, now, one of them is the right front wheel hub or bearing it's all on how you name it when you bring it in so my right front bearing has a little bit of a i'm noticing a little bit of a roar now uh if i transfer the weight and if you don't know what that means how you can tell when a bearing is going bad or a hub is going bad is um you lean over a little bit like this to this lane and then come back and you'll hear it it'll go whoa whoa when you put the weight on it you see what i'm saying um, that's how you can, and it will get progressively worse where it roars all the time, and that's probably right before your wheel falls off, for real. Um, so we're taking care of that. Uh, we're also taking care of other issues, like my air conditioning. That's right. I know Mike's going to get a laugh out of this. So I've had to refill this 1234YF gas in my air conditioning system three times since I got it back from the shop. Um, now, it could be as simple as there's a Schrader valve that's bad. It could be that the compressor has a leak and at that place in that point then they basically replace the compressor. It could be a myriad of issues. Um, it could be you know maybe the dryer or something else is leaking. you know they'll be able to figure it out by they'll put like a dye into the system and try to find out where the leak is and then that that's going to get fixed. Because the air conditioning system on this car is fucking retardedly expensive. Um, and if you don't know what that means, it means like it's it's not cheap. It's way more expensive than a 134A system or even an older R12 system. Um, and the sucky part is, thank you EPA for effing everybody over, is even if I wanted them to convert it to 134A, they can't. But once they put a new compressor or fix wherever the leak is in my system, 134A is under less pressure than, or takes less pressure to become cool as 1234YF. So what will happen is uh, I'll probably have the system evacuated. They'll suck everything out. And you're going to say, oh, we can't do that, TK. Yeah, you just use less. Um, I'll fill my system with 134A. Thank you. And that will be the end of that. The other issue is 134A gets way colder than this 1234YF and why that matters is it's 120 degrees in Las Vegas in the summer and the air conditioning system even in optimal conditions doesn't work right right um, also the AC is not blowing heavy out of my middle vents it could be uh, there's a TSP on the issue or it could just be foam or something back there one of the other issues is this uh, LED light you see that going across my dash that LED light on my dash uh, is failing you can see it from right there okay so that needs to be replaced and then uh, in my entertainment system number three it's like a ghost keeps see we you don't have to press them oh shit I'm, I'm covering the camera um, you can just lightly touch them see how I lightly touch it and it and it pops up something new right whatever see all right now what happens is it's like a ghost is doing this and just touching number three and number three will just stay lit up like this. Um, like it's doing now. See, press and hold down the save. It will finally turn off. And it's intermittent. It goes in and out. 
but it's an issue that drives me nuts. I hate to see things not right in my car. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and get that addressed and get it done so that we don't have that issue uh, moving forward. So knock that out. Easy fix. Um, PCV valve. Yes, the one that was recently replaced. Um, it could be that. So this is what happens when you don't do your own work. Uh, you have to trust others to do it properly. And um, the PCV valve uh, gasket, and that's Raider Stadium over there. Uh, the PCV valve gasket on my car is um, messing up again. It's intermittent. Like sometimes I can start the car and she'll smoke. Um, and then if it's really bad, it'll give you that whistle out of the engine compartment. If you got a B58, you know exactly what I'm talking about if you've ever had one go bad. And this one's only been on the car for like a month and a half, two months maybe. So, uh, I mean, right before the car got uh, car got into an accident. So, hopefully we can get that fixed. We'll get that fixed and uh, that'll be something else. And then I'm going to have them go over everything else. And the reason why is I'm almost done with my CarMax warranty. When this car hits 100,000 miles, that's it. Uh, everything comes is is on me at that point. So all of the other stuff that I'm going to have them look at, uh, and I don't know if this car has issues with the timing chain gasket like my V8 BMWs have had, but we're going to check that timing chain gasket. We're going to check the rear main seal. We're going to check all the uh, valve cover gaskets. We're going to check for any leaks anywhere, all right? And if we see any leaks anywhere, we're addressing them. Um, so the BMW is probably going to be down it, just on the air conditioning system alone uh, at least a week. This LED light in the dash. Oh, and my DRL light, my halo in the front, one of them went yellow. They're going to have to replace that DRL module and then sand the little burn mark off the light tube. And then the car should be 100%, which I know at that point you're going to say, TK, you're going to sell it at that point, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'm going to drive it because I think it's the right thing to do. You know, this car has been, for the most part, mechanically sound. Even when the PCV valve went bad and she was smoking like crazy, she never left me stranded. I can say that. And, you know, you can say it's because of Toyota and Toyota's influence now on the builds of the engine from BMW. BMW really doesn't have shit to say over the transmission because it's ZF. It's not even their thing. But I will say this. The uh, the B58 engine has definitely surprised me. So, But anyways, we'll tap back in here in a minute when we get it up here to the shop and see what uh, the damage is going to be at CarMax to get all this stuff fixed. All right, for you guys asking me what does it look like when you have a bad DRL. All right, you see that right there on the driver's side as I wave to you? All right, you see that? I don't know if you see me in the reflection, probably. Um, so... Basically what happens is there's three little LED lights in there, right? Three little diodes. And what happens is one of them goes bad, uh, or two usually burn out, and it leaves just the one. And then when they burn out, it kind of hits the light tube and it causes that yellowing effect. Now it could be that it didn't burn it at all and it's just that's what the last diode is doing is it's kind of yellow looking because there's not enough light. That's a possibility, but We'll see. It should look like you see on the other side. But we're going to get it addressed, that and everything else on the car today, under this wonderful CarMax warranty. Well, so we'll see if it's wonderful. Um, a lot of people have been telling me, like, oh, it doesn't cover wear items. Well, a DRL module is an electronic. It's not a wear item. But, and they're also supposed to cover all safety uh, components of the vehicle. Daytime running lights, safety component of the vehicle. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know what's hilarious? BMW at the dealer getting fixed. Oh, what is that? That's right. It's another BMW at the dealer getting fixed. Wow. All right, guys. So if you saw at the beginning of the video, the car was going into CarMax uh, just to get, just to have them look at a couple things and find out if they were going to be able to get it fixed. Well, my car is almost out of warranty. And there were a couple little things like the light on my dash was failing. And that's like a fiber optic thing they gotta replace. The radio had like a, a phantom touch issue. 
um, also covered under warranty. Um, the coolant reservoir did ask me to add coolant one time since the water pump's been replaced and the cap is almost hard to take off against you know common issues with this so they're replacing the reservoir and whatnot again checking the water pump but there is i guess a big hard plastic coolant line under uh the car uh that they found uh where they where it had a slow leak so they're going to uh replace that uh the air conditioning system i'm having to put one two three four yf in it probably once a month uh, so it could be as something as simple as a Schrader valve or the compressor could be effed. Um, but I sat there all day today while we f figured out what was going on. And you guys know that, you know, I had, while, you know, the car went in, we had other stuff that we had to take care of because I'm about to go out of town and I wanted to make sure that everything was done. And then sure, then shit. Uh, as soon as we, you know, get the car tightened up and dropped off at CarMax, I take the truck out and I don't know what video, what order this is going to be in, but I'm sure I'll try to make sure I, I at least drop this after the coolant line on the coolant issue with the truck is posted and, uh, us trying to sell the truck to CarMax video. So we know how much we could get for it. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm going to think about selling the truck whatever that number is and i don't want to spoil it just in case i publish this video before um but when i get back when i get back from this trip i'll probably sell the truck or i might trade it on something i saw there again i don't know what order these videos are going to be in so i gotta be i don't want to spoil the other videos for you you know what i'm saying um and then we had to plug the stupid tire on this thing it was retarded Anyways, I got like 35 minutes before I need to park uh, and then go into the airport and catch my flight and bounce. So, um, I wanted to talk just a little bit, you know, to kind of tighten up what exactly is wrong with the BMW. And I thought it was pretty ironic that right when we pulled up, right when we pulled up, <laughs> there's another BMW that was freshly purchased that's already at the shop under warranty. I understand now why CarMax's Max Care cuts the warranty out at 125,000 miles. I get that now. Um, I purchased the warranty up to 100,000. I probably should have bought the 125. I'm kind of regretting that now. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I think I paid 3,500 or 3,600 for that warranty, which gave me about 65,000 miles of pretty much bumper to bumper warranty and um yes i do have my foot hanging out the truck right now <laughs> i'm on some real redneck shit anyways um the car look outside of the water pump which by the way that leaky weep hole water pump i drove that car i drove that car from North Carolina out here to Las Vegas in what December and December or January of uh 2022 and um if I say yo come on man tighten up with your fucking alarm and I had no issues I was able to get here it didn't overheat it never was completely out of coolant um it just had that weep hole it, just, it depended on where you stop the engine on, whether or not the impeller stopped at just the right point where it would leak. Crazy. Um, but anyways, the water pump's been replaced. No more issues with that uh, as of yet. And what else? So they're, But they're going to go over everything, and best believe I'll bring it in one last time before I get to 100,000 miles just to see if they find anything else. Um, but the purpose of this video, because I did, a, I'm doing a series on it, Doug DeMiro style, where I'm talking about basically showing you how much CarMax paid in warranty repairs on this car since I've had it. And I can tell you right now that, you know, when we first got it, you know, it was that was kind of under the 4,000 mile thing that they give you if you buy a car from CarMax. But they ended up replacing the front rotors, the rear rotors, the front pads, the rear pads. Um, now they're replacing the wheel hub. Or wheel hubs on the front of the car they're just replacing both because they come as a pair and that's like 1200 bucks a side so that's 2400 bucks 
the fiber optic line or whatever in the dash they're going to replace the whole thing and it's like 800 bucks plus labor let's just call it another 1500 you know so we're looking at almost 4000 right there right well, let's say 30 let's just say 3500 to be nice right nobody cares about your fart can civic bro um exactly eat a dick um let's just call that 3500 the coolant pipe and stuff that's going to be replaced that's like an $800 job so we'll call that 4200 right um what else oh the air if they have to replace the air conditioning compressor that's 1800 bucks plus labor I, I, and that's without getting to the radio that's without getting to recharging the system um there's it, it, just the stuff that the potential for this repair i'm probably i'm not looking at it but max care is probably looking at paying between eight to twelve thousand dollars on this trip to carmax eight to twelve thousand now carmax already took it to bmw to diagnose the other stuff that they couldn't figure out um so they're doing all that um it, like i said isn't that shit cute? All making all that noise and not going nowhere. You'll be a civic. Anyways, there you have it. Um, I, I wanted to get this video in because you guys had asked me about it, and I am about out of time. I need to grab my bag here and uh, head my ass the couple blocks up to the airport park and go in. So. That's going to do it, man. Um, I don't know what order these videos are going to go in, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with the BMW, a.k.a. the Petty Roosevelt. And um, hopefully, when I get back, it's all fixed, and we can enjoy it for a little bit before uh, I end up doing something with that car. I said I was probably never, ever going to sell it or get rid of it, and I probably won't. The only way I would sell the Petty Roosevelt is if I just came across like a a stupid something I'd absolutely have to take and then I just can't have you know so I got too many cars as it is right now so oh and my insurance bill just went pff, retarded but anyways um yeah oof anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below I am going to try to get this trip in and get home uh, and hopefully be in a good mood when I get back. It all depends on how this trip goes. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it. There you go. BMW in the shop again, probably for eight to $12,000 in repairs. And, um, you know, what's crazy is I'm only, I was only, you know, the car, it's sponsored car. So CarMax paid for half of the car. So I'm only like 18 grand or whatever into the, it's crazy that the warranty already, has paid out more than what I would have paid for the vehicle out of my half, right? Now, as to the thing with Max Care is I think it only will pay out up to uh, like a certain, I think it's like 80% or 75% of the value of the car. And I believe the car, when I purchased it, its book was like 38, I believe. I believe. I think it was like 40 one grand or whatever it was out the door when we bought it which to be honest for a 2019 with whatever it was 38,000 miles really wasn't bad uh right before lci which is great pre-lci you know 2019 bmw 540 for like right at 40 grand 41 grand it was a pretty good deal that's why i jumped on it because if i didn't get that car which you guys didn't know and i promise we'll get out of here after this if I didn't get that car, I had already pulled the trigger on an M4. I was going to be two-door, powder blue M4. Um, I already had a name for it. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, it was blue. Let me guess, TK, blue balls. No, man, no, no, that's not what it's going to be. Oh, man. That is a good name, though. Anyways, um, I don't know. I don't want to give it away because we do have something I'm looking at. But I ended up getting the 5 Series for around the same money that I could have got the M4. The difference was the M4, I think, already had 75,000 miles. Oof. 
Um, yeah, no. And the B58, for me, I think, you know, with the technology sharing agreement between BMW and Toyota, BMW engines are getting a lot better because of that agreement with Toyota. And that's just, it just is what it is. The ZF transmission, that B58 engine, I was sold. And um, like I said, you know, it sucks. Everything around it will eventually break, you know, water pumps and all kinds of other shit. But the engine itself is probably going to be bulletproof for 250,000 miles. So, anyways, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I kept you guys way too long, and I'm sorry. But you guys asked for this update and wanted to know what was going on with the BMW. Now you know. It's at CarMax. The truck will be at the airport when I get home. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to end up selling this to CarMax. I'm not going to talk about what the number was or how much it was. You have to go check that video out when I publish it, unless it's already published. But, um, yeah, I think I might do that. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned.